Hello and welcome to another video on my tutorial channel. Today I'm going to touch upon a very simple and quick topic, something that I use sometimes on my own projects and it might be of some use to you as well. So what I'm trying to do here is, uh, but first as always, you know, please go ahead and you know follow me on GitHub. You know what, I think I should push this. Just push this a little bit to the left. Ah, there we go, okay. Right then, so uh, yeah, much better. Okay, so as always, go ahead, follow me on GitHub, visit my website. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and so on and so forth. So right then, so today what I'm talking about is a quick topic about GitHub pages, especially for documentation. Now, what am I talking about? So let's go to my GitHub repository. And here, uh, just bring it up on the... Um, Okay, so I have my GitHub account here, and if I go to my profile, I see here that I have a new project called Comic Book Shop. It's a very simple, you know, full stack e-commerce type project that I just built, um, you know, this last month, and I just put it online as well. So now if you go here, you'll see here that I made a note that I've said uh, documentation is available here. You can see this link. And of course, I will put this link also in the... Um, video description so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. Right now, if you click here on the documentation and the same link is available here as well. So they're both the same thing. And if I open it, I get like a nice, simple website. Okay. So here, what I've done is, you know, I have all these links. It looks like a proper website. It's responsive and everything. And it's, it's, it's like a real website. It looks cool. You know, instead of reading like this, you know, you are actually reading like this. It looks really nice. And then you can click on the topics. They look nice. You know, I put all the video links and everything. And the same thing here. So it looks nice and you can make it as grand as you want or you can keep it as simple like uh, how I have done. And the best part is it's all like HTML so it looks responsive. I like it, I really do like it. And I think this has a lot of potential. You know, it, sometimes you may feel like for the sake of documentation, you need to use some documentation software or something. Nothing wrong with it. You know, if you have the time and resources for it, go for it. But I am a solo developer. I'm a solo freelancer. I don't have a team or anything. Whatever is being done, I have to do it alone. I don't have any support team or anything, anybody, even an assistant to help me out. So, so for something like that, where you just have a hobby project and you're working solo, the GitHub pages with documentation. Now already, you know, I am already in the habit of writing a lot of markdown files. Okay, so if you're already in the habit of writing the markdown files and putting everything in place using markdown, then GitHub pages is an amazing solution. So how do we go ahead and get this working? So that is what we are going to do now. So first step is let's go ahead and create a new GitHub repository for the sake of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and say here, I'm going to say uh, to delete GitHub pages demo one. I'm just going to call it demo one. So description, you can leave it blank. That's fine. It has to be public though, because obviously documentation is supposed to be for public. So add a readme file, uh, ignore whatever is you're working on right now. I'm not working on anything. So I'm going to leave it blank. And then I'm going to say, click create repository. So the repository is now created, right? And then the next thing what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and use one of my own projects, right? So I have my project here. So this is the documentation I'm talking about, right? So it, it's already here. So let's try to replicate this in the new repository. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and download my comic book shop project. And you can use that as well, you know, if you want to, if you, if you don't want to create your own thing. So let me go ahead and extract this. Okay, it'll take some time. In this one, I am looking for the docs folder. So I want this docs folder. I'll keep it on the side for now. Now let me go to the new repository I just created. So where is that? There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this. Now I have to clone this though, that's important. So I'm gonna to come to my uh, desktop here and I'll go to my this one and here I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to clone this new repository where I want to get the GitHub pages working for the sake of the video. That part is done. So now let's go inside that. Okay, looks good. Now I want to open this in VS Code I've got that. Now what I want is I want to move my docs folder that I have from my original website. So I'm going to say right click and I'm going to say, yikes, what's happening? Yeah, there we go. 
I'm going to say reveal in file explorer. That's good. Now, where is my docs folder? It's here. Okay, it's very important, the spelling, you know, to keep it D-O-C-S. And I'll come to my new repository, the one I'm just trying to show you. So I put the docs now. So I have the documentation working just fine. So I'm go. I'm going to go here to my the to delete GitHub pages demo one pro repository, and I'm going to push all this. So JIT status, JIT add dot, JIT status again, JIT commit. I'm going to say pushing docs, pushing docs. There we go. Two lines, WQ, and then JIT push. Okay, that part is done. Now let's come back to this repository and I go ahead and reload this page and you'll see that yes, the docs folder is now available, but still no public repository yet. Now to get that thing, like how I have here, what I want to do is I want to go to settings. Okay, go to settings and the left side, you would have pages. Okay, it's free, it's not chargeable or anything. So that's the good thing about this. And here you'll have GitHub action. So let's go ahead. And we are, we are going, oh, actually we have to turn it on. We are to turn on GitHub pages first. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And somewhere here you'll have an option called, oh, uh, projects, discussions, pages, pages, okay. Deploy from a branch. Okay, there we go. Oh, what is this? What is this? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think I have to create a, a, a branch here. Hold on. Comic book shop. Hmm. Something is not right. Let me just see here. I just did this in the, you know, features, wiki. Yeah, this is all fine. Pages main there you go github pages deploy from a branch okay okay why is this not giving me the option today deploy from branch comic book shop so let's go here hold on let me go here okay let's go to repositories i want to go to to delete okay there you go push Docs, okay, let me go to settings. And what I want to do is I want to go to pages. Ah, there it is. Ah, it was, I think I had to reload the website. Sorry, sorry. So just remember to reload. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I forgot to reload. So there you go. Got a little worried there. So there it is. So just go make sure you come to general. Okay, get up settings. Go to pages. And remember to reload. You know, I, ha I did not reload and it wasn't there. So, so this is where you'll get the option called docs. That's it. Select this and then you just want to say save. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. In case you don't see that option, remember to reload uh, the page. Okay. So if I go here to actions, you'll see that there's a page being built. So we'll wait for that. It'll take a few seconds. Still building. Okay, something is happening. Hmm, it's done. Just like that, and there is the link. So I'm going to click on this, and there it is. It's working just fine. So what you'll do is just check this link. And you can normally, this is the procedure. So normally you put it here, okay? So put this, there you go, use your GitHub pages website, add a description, you know, for the video tutorial, okay? And then I'm gonna say save. And it comes here. And if you want that to come here as well, then click on here, edit the readme file, and you can simply say documentation is available here. So I'm gonna enclose this here in square bracket. That's for the title. And I'm gonna put the link in the curly braces and that's all there is to it. Committed directly to the main branch, done, done, done. Ah, and there it is. So you can either click here and go to your documentation page with GitHub pages or you can click here and go to your documentation page 
also and it's responsive it looks nice it's really good and if you're already building your documentation in you know md files then you know for me this is better than just looking at readme files so definitely an option for you to take so there you go folks that is all there is to it on how you can use github pages with markdown files for a very simple functional website that looks just simple and fine and for me for my purposes as a solo developer a single person tutor this is really really useful for me so that's all there is to it i'll see you in the next one